This weekend, robots are coming to save you, or at least they're going to try. They're driving vehicles, climbing ladders, and cutting through walls as part of a sort of robot Olympics held by a government agency called DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. And it's all so that someday a machine like these can rescue you and me. Big industrial disasters often result in a situation where humans need to charge in and fix things, but where doing so is suicide. The nuclear emergency at Fukushima is an example. The idea in this competition is to develop robots to send in our place, ones that can use the same vehicles, doorways, and tools that human rescuers might. The robots will try to complete eight tasks this weekend. It's the first time most of these teams, made up of universities and private companies, have ever attempted to build a robot so complex, so they've been given a long time, a full half hour, to achieve each task. Think of these robots as toddlers, slowly reaching for the steering wheel, trying to keep their balance, and generally falling over a lot. DARPA is the Defense Department's most futuristic agency. They're in charge of really insane research projects. The most insane one, once upon a time, was the concept of a computer network that could somehow survive a nuclear attack. That idea became the Internet. Then in 2007, they hosted a competition like this for military vehicles that could drive themselves, and we wound up with Google's self-driving car. The agency bets big on weird, valuable ideas, and the theory here is that robots are the next one. The top finishers in this year's competition will receive millions in DARPA funding to continue developing their prototypes, and a year from now, the teams will try it again at full speed. At that point, the technology may be ready for building robots that serve food, assist the elderly, or build houses, not to mention ones that could save us when we need it most. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.